Welcome to Major Hunters. Today we have an incoming student who's trying to find out which major feels most like home. Hi Olivia, tell us about yourself. Hey Chris, in college I'm very interested in looking for a major that focuses on better developing cities like transportation and water systems and also focuses on sustainability. I think I know exactly what you're looking for. Civil and environmental engineering are fields that address human quality of life by improving city infrastructure while also lessening its environmental impact on the world. Wow, that sounds like the right fit for me. With civil and environmental, you take a wide variety of classes, specifically for civil that range from construction to transportation engineering to structural, while for environmental that more focus on air quality and learning about chemicals that might damage the environment. But what do I do if I have more specific interests that I want to focus on, like maybe water and the environment? You could try out majoring in civil engineering with an emphasis in either water resources or environmental. The water resources route teaches you a lot about water systems such as water treatment, water supply, and hydraulics. While the environmental route is a lot more like the regular environmental engineering major, but with a more broad civil engineering background. That's great! What if I want to focus more on infrastructure and building design? Those are also covered too. In civil engineering, there is a structural emphasis that focuses on structural design and analysis of infrastructure performance, which can range from bridges to skyscrapers. However, if you're more particularly interested in buildings, there's a building science program that combines a standard architecture and structural engineering degree that lets you understand building design from concept all the way to actual construction. This all sounds so amazing. What kind of organizations do students in these majors get involved in? Despite that it's a small department, there are still many organizations and clubs that students can join. There's the American Society of Civil Engineers and also the American Academy of Environmental Engineers and Scientists, which really offer a lot of opportunities for careers and events that can be organized for the students. When it comes to actual design competitions, there is the Construction Management Association of America for students that are more focused on construction management roles. And there's also the Earthquake Engineering Research Institute that usually tends to attract a lot of building science students, but it is also open to everyone. So really the opportunities are endless for clubs within civil and environmental engineering. Wow, this is so much information. I think I have a better idea of what direction I wanna go in now. Thank you, Major Hunters. Of course, glad to help. Here are some testimonials from real civil and environmental engineering students. I chose civil engineering building science because I wanted to pursue engineering in an unconventional way, and I thought the perfect way was to combine both artistic intent with theoretical ways of thinking, and building science combined both perfectly. And the reason I picked environmental engineering is because it's such a great way to use my engineering skills and knowledge to positively impact the world and change it for the better, and I just couldn't think of a better th thing to do with my life. I chose civil engineering with a construction management emphasis because I like how it involves both math and physics as well as business and working with people on projects. I also like the positive impact it could have on our futures through affordable housing and sustainable infrastructure. Hi, my name is Elise Pollock and I'm a junior studying structural engineering here at USC. I really love this program because we get to learn about building design and the theory behind it. We start these classes in our junior year, and I especially love that these classes are small and we get individual instruction from our professors.